I just wanted to show off this portable arcade I made. Uh, it's got a car battery, so it's a small car battery, so it's powered off of uh, 12 volt. It's got extended handle, comes out, wheels. It's a little dirty right now because my kid's been all over it. I put an antenna on there so I can uh, watch TV if I go to a lake or whatever. Main power switch kills the power to everything. It's charging off a battery charger right now, but it lasts eight hours off of one charge. Uh, built this so we can get to a uh, Super Nintendo Classic that I put in there, which has an uh, attachment with a USB in it and get all the ROMs. Controller batteries. Zips up. I actually sewed all that in. Uh, this is the control panel for the TV that used to be connected to the TV, but I disassembled the frame and sewed the TV into the actual case thing. Added uh, another pocket down here for the controllers with a zipper on it. It works pretty well. Uh, remote control. I'll show you guys what this thing can do. Let's turn it on. You can check the voltage as well. It's at 13.8, 13.7, which takes some to power the TV on, but after that it just stays. Alright, let's see. Super Nintendo Arcade, Nintendo 64. Most of the ROMs work for 64, but you have to have the controls and sometimes it lags. everything on there. Got a little zoom in. So that works. Put them in order like that. Try a game I made. Save all monsters for Godzilla. It's just Pac Man. Miss Pac Man. Hard to play one-handed. Of course, you back out with down and select. Yeah, it works really well. Get about eight hours out of it. And take it anywhere and watch TV or play any game. Just checking it out.